Imagine a drone so fast, it outran the aircraft that launched it, so secret, its existence wasn't confirmed until the 1990s, and so dangerous. It killed the best pilots at Area 51 before ever seeing a real mission. This wasn't modern technology. This was 1960s Cold War engineering. The Lockheed D-21, the world's first Mach 3 plus spy drone. After the U-2 incident and rising Soviet air defenses, the CIA needed a way to spy on China and the USSR without risking pilots. The answer? A drone launched at 3,000 kilometers per hour at 90,000 feet using a ramjet that only worked once it was already supersonic. But there was a problem. No aircraft on Earth could launch it, except one. The A-12 Oxcard engineers strapped the drone onto the A-12's back. Launching it looked like something out of science fiction. Both aircraft at Mach 3, the drone igniting, detaching and vanishing faster than the pilot could blink. But the system was unstable. One test mission ended catastrophically. The shockwave tore the drone off the A-12 at the wrong angle. It flipped, smashed into the tail, and destroyed the aircraft. Pilot Bill Park survived only because his pressure suit didn't rupture. His co-pilot drowned in the desert lake where he ejected. The CIA canceled the A-12 launch platform, but refused to kill the drone. Instead, they mounted the D-21 under the wings of a massive B-52 bomber. To get it up to ramjet speed, they attached a giant rocket booster. The launch looked like a missile test. Flames, smoke, shock waves. Between 1969 and 1971, the D-21 flew four real spy missions over China, searching for nuclear test data but the drone never returned a single photograph. One mission lost fuel and crashed in Siberia. Another malfunctioned and landed almost intact in China, where engineers reverse engineered the American UFO with disbelief. By 1971, the program quietly died. But the truth is simple. The D-21 was the fastest unmanned aircraft ever built. A Mach 3.3 ghost that almost nobody knew existed, a secret so bold, it was 50 years ahead of its time. Even today, aerospace engineers look at the D-21's ramjet and ask the same question. How the hell did they build this in 1965?